In this video, we're going to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube using the same algorithms that we use to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube using the method from the Rubik's Cube website. So this video is for people who already know how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, this video will show you how to do this, but I'm going to gloss over things assuming that you already know them. I'm going to put out a second video hopefully soon going over the same things but in more detail for people who have never solved a Rubik's Cube before. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Rubik's Cube. I've had this one for a couple of years. I actually just got a new one that I don't have with me. If you do buy a Rubik's Cube, uh, I think pretty much all the newer models. See, this one has stickers that are peeling off. They tend to peel off pretty fast, and it's kind of stiff. Newer models move a lot smoother, and the colors are actually plastic. They're not uh, stickers, so they're not going to come off, and you also can't cheat by pulling the stickers off. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. I just got this a day and a half ago and um, solving it was actually pretty simple because I already knew how to solve a standard 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Now um, this is definitely not the most efficient way to solve the Rubik's Cube but the way I solve the standard Rubik's Cube, uh, the 3x3, three three, is the standard way off the Rubik's Cube website. If you go to rubikscube.com they have instructions and videos on how to solve it been told that's not the fastest way, not the most efficient way to solve it, but I can solve a standard Rubik's Cube in about, uh, in under two minutes easy, about a minute 40 uh, on average. Um, so definitely there are people who are faster than that, but I can solve it pretty fast using that, those algorithms. And if you know how to do that, solving this cube is pretty simple. Again, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not the most uh, productive way, most uh, efficient way, but it does work. And if you already know how to do the standard Rubik's Cube in the standard way from the website, you already know how to do this. Um, and again, I've seen other people do uh, different algorithms when I was trying to learn how to use it. And again, I've only had this for a day and a half. And there were some more complex algorithms that were a bit faster. Um, but I can solve the two by two in about 40 seconds. I've only had a day and a half. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to mix it up. Now, the first thing you need to do is just like you have the standard cube, you want to get one side done. And uh, usually people start with the white side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, uh, if you watch a lot of videos, they say getting, getting the, um, the white side is pretty standard and easy. And you don't have to get all the colors on the side to match. So what I mean by that is when you get solve a Rubik's Cube, you don't solve just the white side. You want to make sure that the, that the layer is done so the colors match. Now with the 2x2, two two, you want to get the white side. You don't need these colors on the side to match. Um, but I have found, at least with my way of doing this, that it uh, saves you some time in the end. Um, so go ahead and do that. You don't have the center dot, uh, center square, to tell you what color each side is. But it's simple. You start off with one color. Let's say this is green. You want to just find the other one with green and put it next to it then find the red one and then the blue one. And it's using the same algorithm that you would use to solve the four corners on the white side. So you skip the white cross, which is what you start with on a regular Rubik's Cube, and you just go to the four corners and that's all you do and you're done. So you already know how to do that if you know how to solve a standard Rubik's Cube. At this point, we're going to flip it over just as you would flip this over. And now the uh, Next thing we do on a standard Rubik's Cube is get these edge pieces. Well, we don't have those edge pieces. So the next thing we need to do is just get the yellow side. And so the next two moves on the, on the standard Rubik's Cube are to get the yellow cross and then the yellow corner pieces to get the yellow side, even though the layer won't match. And it's the same two algorithms that you would do with this cube. Now again, I watched a video when I first got the 2x2 two two, and gentleman got to this point and he said there's seven different positions that the uh, cube can be in and there's seven different algorithms you can do to get the yellow side. And I didn't want to have to learn seven different things. So his way is no matter what the position of the uh, yellow cubes are, the yellow squares, you would do one of seven algorithms and you would get the entire yellow side. And this is where m using my technique here, I don't want to call it my technique, using the standard Rubik's Cube technique um, is not the most efficient because I only have to do two algorithms uh, that I already know, but I might have to do them a couple of times. So what we're going to do here is uh, if you have two yellow on top, such as I do, put them to the back. If you have yellows on the sides, uh, on two sides, put them on either side. And then anything else 
uh, you're going to want to try to get a yellow dot here, I find is the best. Now our goal is to get one yellow dot on top to here. So once you get there, we move to the next algorithm. So the algorithm is the same that we would do on this. So to get the yellow cross, I would do front, right, top, inverted right, inverted top, inverted front, and you have the yellow cross. We're going to do the same thing on this, front, right, top, inverted right, inverted top, inverted front. And again, I'm going to do it a couple times. I'm going to put this yellow dot in front here. Front, right, top, inverted right, inverted top, inverted front, until I get a yellow dot in the corner. So now that we have the one yellow square, we're going to put that in the bottom left facing us. So bottom left, as far as looking at the top. And uh, it's going to be the same algorithm that we would use next to get the uh, yellow in all four of those corners there, which is um, up, over, I should say, I'm sorry, right, top, inverted right, top, right, top, top, inverted right, and then you should have all four yellow squares here on top. And at this point, you're going to have two corners that match, or they're in the correct spot. So here I have the red blue in the right spot and the green orange in the right spot, which means that now we're going to be solving just as if we were solving to put the four corners on a standard Rubik's cube here, which is the second to last move for solving the st standard three by three. Now, with the mini, uh, the two by two here, uh, you're going to have to do, this is going to be the last algorithm, but you're going to have to do it twice in this case. Now, if both colors were on the same side, for example, if I had both reds, so the whole red side uh, completed, I'm going to do the algorithm once. Since they're diagonal, I'm going to put one of them in the back right, and I'm going to have to do the algorithm twice. So again, let me show you it here on the standard cube, so let me get to that point. So here we go on the standard Rubik's cube, the standard 3x3, three three. I've got two corners that match. In this case, they're both in the back, so you're either going to have uh, two corners on the back or you're going to have them diagonal. Just as we have here, I have got them uh, on the diagonal. And so uh, the movement is going to be inverted right, front, inverted right, back, back, right, front, I'm sorry, inverted front, right inverted, back, back, right, right, and then uh, upper inverted. So um, sounds like a lot, but again, if you already know how to do the standard Rubik's Cube, um, you already know how to do this. And uh, I will be um, hopefully doing a follow-up video on this where I go into more detail, but again, this video is for people who already know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So we're gonna go uh, inverted right, uh, do, do, do. And now we have all our corner pieces correct. So green, orange, red, orange, blue, red, and orange, blue. So we're gonna do the same exact movements on this. So I'm gonna find my uh, corners here, put the yellow on top, one of the matching corners in the back right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So now, that I have did it once since I have diagonal, I have to do it again, but this time I have a solid green side, so I'm gonna put that to the back. And again, it's right inverted, front, right inverted, back, back, right, front inverted, right inverted, back, back, right, right, upper inverted. I can't say it while I'm gonna do it because it messes me up, um, but here we go. Oops. And now we just turn to match our cube and we have all colors matched. So that is solving the two by two if you already know how to solve the standard three by three using the, um, the algorithms that are shown at the Rubik's Cube website. Again, this is not necessarily the most efficient way. And again, uh, some instructions say you need the white side and the, and the layers don't have to match. If you do that, then that last algorithm, the really long one, you might end up having to do that four or five times, where if you make sure the layers match at top, uh, at first when you're doing the white side, you only have to do it at most two times. So again, I'll just go through the whole thing right now. So here we go. Uh, and this one goes here. So I got the white side and the layers, turn it over. I can skip the next move because I got the, the single square there. So um, mm -hmm. 
And then we'll match up our corners. So I got two red there. And you have a solved two by two Rubik's cube. So again, may not be the most efficient way, and I'm assuming you already know how to solve the standard Rubik's Cube, the three by three, the way that I do, which is the official way on the Rubik's Cube website. Uh, but I thought I'd do a video on that. Um, when I bought this, I was actually kind of hoping it'd be a little more challenging, and so maybe I'll learn some of the other algorithms to see if I can speed up my time. Um, but I was hoping to spend a day or two learning how to do this, because it took me three days to really memorize how to do uh, the standard Rubik's Cube, um, but again, uh, after watching a few different things, I realized that, that I could do it using moves that I already knew from here, and it's quite simple if you already know how to do this. I understand if you don't know how to solve a three by three, this might seem a little complex, especially that last move for solving the uh, bottom corner pieces. That's it. Uh, so again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, kind of off topic compared to most of my videos, but I recommend you check out my other videos, uh, which is mostly on computer stuff, if you are a new viewer. Um, and again, I'll probably do a follow-up video, maybe just going over what I just went over, but in more detail for people who have not solved uh, the standard Rubik's Cube, the 3x3. And I think for, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Check out the link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.